Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath series where we learn about the Mastercam Milton component. Uh, this is over exercise number 8th and in the part exercise number 8 path 2nd in the part 1 we show you that how we can create a, that one component a proper machine simulation where we show you how we can use a left hand spindle as well as the right hand spindle and oh, both upper stream as well as lower stream and in this component you will learn a very special thing and that is going to be you will learn a multi axis kind of tool path on the left hand side as well as the right hand side so now let we have to start to create that one component so in this component the new thing that you are going to be learned the first thing that you will learn about the multi axis tool path that how we can apply on the left side spindle as well as the right side spindle and second thing you will going to learn of when we are talking about that one part that our initial stock for that one component will be the right side it means your com we come that for that one part our initial stock where we holding our workpiece that will be on the right side and that's a really new thing we will going to be learned for that one component so let we have to start to create that one component so for creating that component the first step is we have to uh, define or we have to select a machine for the machine selection i have to go in a machine in a Milton and here I am choosing a very special kind of machine that is Mazak Integrated i200ST 15U once I select the machine so after that why one new window is going to be blinking right at here so here if you want to make some modification for the uh, spend chuck as well as jaw so we can make the modification for the left hand spindle as well as the right hand spindle if you want to make some additional for the add study rest or something so we can add by clicking right at here once I define that one after that I have to define a set in a setup I have to set up that where my part is going to be set up in initially so that's my right hand spindle so as you can see here I just define the right hand spindle so when we are just defining the right hand spindle so the all the continuous kind of options are going to be off because when we are talking about the continuous so that only possibility for the bar feeder kind of machine and when we hold our workpiece initially on right side so bar, bar feeder uh, never be going to be work on this condition so there are the four options are available first is single piece of stock pick up pull up the second is single piece of stock pick up so I am going to use that one option and if you want to make the all the operation on the right side only so there will be no pick up operation will do and if you want to make all these things in a separately so we can make uh, that one option where the left hand spindle tool path will going to be working separately and right hand, right hand side will going to be working separately but for that one component I am going to use a single piece of stock pickup it means once right side spindle all operations going to be completed after that I can call a left hand spindle it will hold and take it in the right side so now let we have to came on the next point the next option is where we have to define the right hand spindle so now as you can see all, all the exercise previous exercise here it was the left side spindle but in this condition when we are selected that initial stock should be right hand side it means we have to first define the right hand spindle value and all these things so now we have to came in the right hand spindle first thing is we have to define the part geometry for selection of the part geometry we have to click on that one part and just say ok once I define the part geometry after that I have to make the turn profile so for creating a turn profile I just have to click on it so my turn profile automatically created successfully after that I have to define the raw material for the defining of raw material I have to K match here and in a bar stock we have to define how we have to extra margin of that one component so I make the extra margin 1mm in OD 1mm in right hand face and 1mm in the left hand face once I define the left hand and right hand face after that I have to came on the next parameters tool path origin in Z it means we have to define that where my tool will going to be taking offset so when we are talking about the right hand spindle it, so that in that condition we always take offset with the help of left face so we have to choose this and now the next step is stick out stick out means when our right hand spindle holding our workpiece initially so how much length is going to be clamping in that condition so that the value or we have defined right at here so that the value I am defining right at here and I so suppose this value I can define with the help of that point and that's perfect so my workpiece is holding till this point so that's the all the things are going to be perfectly right at here after that the next step is we have to define the value for the left hand spindle and in the left hand spindle 
if you want to make some extra stuff for the left hand spindle so you can click on here and you can add on some extra values or stock if you need it otherwise it will calculate the previous as per the previously once I define that one we have to came on last and final parameter that is pick up it means when the part handling is going to be processed so in that time where my left hand spindle will hold a workpiece so we have to define that one position and this position is going to I have to define uh, approximately at this one position so for that one purpose I have to came here and I just, I just have to click on a nearest point and just click here and after that I just press ok so once I press ok so as you can see here my both side left hand spindle as well the right hand spindle both side stock is going to be calculated and it's mounting perfectly so as you can see here this is my uh, I define all the values for the right hand spindle perfectly and as you can see here I define all the values for the left hand spindle as well in the left hand spindle as you can see here some extra margins and these things are visible right at here so for avoiding all these things again I have to go in a job setup in a bar stock I have to define the same value as the previous so for that one I have to came here the bar stock value is 80 mm so I can click here and just say 80 and press ok so as you can see here all these things are going to be set perfectly so this is my right hand spindle and right at here as you can see here this is my left hand spindle so this is all about when we have to make uh, our component when we have to set up our component initially on the right hand spindle so that's a uh, easiest method to clamping my part initially in the right hand spindle and after completing of all the operation in the right hand spindle my workpiece automatically going to be part handling in the left hand spindle and all the operations will be performed on the left hand spindle so this is all about that how we can hold our workpiece in the right hand spindle and all these things and which are the parameters will be different as compared to the when we are holding in the left hand spindle so i hope you guys can understand about that what is the process and the steps the, all the parameter that we have to fill I would like to suggest to each and every single person if you are new on this video and if you are if you have a good knowledge of lathe milling or a multi axis I would like to suggest you start to learning Milton module because it's a really really important a very good pay good paying salary module in a master cam and if you guys don't have knowledge of the master cam Milton module so first go and watch the basic concept of master cam the basic concept of machining like you must have to learn the lathe module you must have to learn the milling module you must have to learn the multi axis module if you have good knowledge of these modules so that you can understand easily for creating that one component so you are guys going to learn a lot of new thing in the next exercise so in the next video we will learn about that how you can create a different kind of tool path on the first right hand spindle and what are the issue we will face during the desk time so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video with the performance a different number of operations and tool path on the right hand spindle thank you